Let's talk some more about spreading of activation because it turns out that spreading of activation is a really great way to explain priming. Remember priming that unconscious measure of memory? All right, what do I mean by priming? Let's review it again. If you see the color yellow, it is going to prime or speed up your ability to recognize lemons, something that is uh, a yellowness is a key characteristic of lemons. If a lemon isn't yellow, then it's not ripe or there's something bizarre that's happened, right? Um, doctors and nurses deal with blood a lot. So in our minds, there's an association between uh, doctors, nurses, and blood. So if you show somebody blood, it will prime their nodes or their concepts of nurses and doctors. So seeing blood actually makes people faster at recognizing doctors and nurses. If I show you a bunch of colors and then ask you to complete this word stem, how do you complete it? Green, because seeing colors primes our access or speeds our access to other colors. Now, you could have said grape, but you didn't. You said green, and that's because of priming. How do you fill in that blank? Soap, obviously. How do you fill in this blank? Soup, obviously. It's the same word completion task, but the pictures that you see change the way you fill in the missing vowel. That's a kind of priming. Now, how does spreading of activation explain priming? Well, let's go back to um, yellow and canaries. Canaries are typically yellow. And so yellow would be tightly associated with the concept of canary. So when yellow is activated, some of that activation spreads out and activates the concept of bird. Remember back to our lecture on eyewitness memory and you participated in a demonstration of uh, false memories? About half of you would have filled in the word sleep as a word that you had heard a man in the video say, but he never said it. He said all the concepts around sleep and that activation from those surrounding concepts went in and activated sleep, which is, which is why your brain thought sleep had to be in the list. Not because it was on the list, but because of spreading of activation. Now, spreading of activation has also been studied with not sentence verification tasks, but lexical decision tasks. And a lexical decision task is you just have to decide if something is a word or a collection of letters that's a non-word. If you see this first stimulus, is that a word? Yes. If you see the second stimulus, is that a word? No. How about the third one? No. So a sentence verification task, you just have to say yes or no. Yes, if it's a word, no, if it isn't a word. Let's do a demo so you can experience it yourself so you'll remember it later and understand it better now. Here we go. So you just saw stimuli from this classic 1971 experiment. Again, just like you saw, there were pairs of, well, words or non-words. And sometimes the two words that were presented together were related to each other, like bread and butter or doctor and nurse. And sometimes when the stimuli showed two words, the two words were unrelated to each other, like chair and flower. And what researchers found is that when subjects saw two words that were related to each other, like bread and butter, they could judge whether or not both groups of letters were words. They could do the lexical decision task faster than if the two words were unrelated to each other. So subjects in this study are not judging the relatedness of the words. They're just saying whether they are looking at one word and a non-word or two words? That's the decision. Am I looking at one word and a non-word or two words? And within that judgment, if the two words are related in the two word trials, then subjects can make the decision faster. Now, why? 
Researchers argue that when you read the first word, it primes the second word if the two words are related. But if the first word you, that you read is unrelated to the second word that you read, then that second word is not primed, and so the decision is slower. That's it. So when you see stimuli, automatically concepts related to those stimuli are primed. Spreading of activation means that they are primed, and that is the basis of priming. Come back for the last segment.